Hi folks. Well, I got my my little off-grid solar power system set up here. And I'll just uh walk you through what I got now. On the on the roof of my porch. I have to mount it up there, but I just have it sitting up there right now. What I have is a 230 watt solar panel uh, now it's an old panel so I don't know if I'll ever really get 230 watts from it but it's working and uh, it's hard to know how well it's working or not now right now uh, I'm powering I'm powering my 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 desktop computer so it is working and it's powering it's powering that that computer and it's not having much problem doing that uh, and over on the left there that that red thing is my my power inverter and that's it's not pure sine wave or anything fancy like that. It's just modified sine wave. I, I bought that stupid thing at at Harbor Freight, and I think I paid. Uh, I think it was it was on sale for thirty four dollars, and I I got a discount, and so by the time it was done, I with tax I paid probably thirty dollars for it and it's a it's a uh, 650 watt inverter 1500 it'll go up to on power surge so it's a reasonable reasonable inverter for using with this setup and I, I've just got it clipped onto the batteries. I don't have it mounted better than that. It's just clipped on. And then over here, I've got this. I've got this charge controller that I that I bought some time ago, and it's supposed to be an MPPT charge controller but uh, I can't really I don't really know if it really is or not uh, to some cheap Chinese thing that I bought on eBay uh, I don't remember what I paid for it I doubt I paid more than fifty dollars for it so the chances are high that it's not really an MPPT charge controller it is working though and I'm gonna close close in on it here and, and show you what it's doing here. Now I did buy this thing some time back, and of course I lost all the documentation for it, so I don't know where it came from. I don't know who made it. I don't remember how much it costs, and I have no documentation to know how to use it all properly. But uh, I'll do the demo. It says MPPT demo. And the battery is right now 13.7 volts. It's supposed to float at that amount. Now it's bright sun outside right now. And so I don't need. I, I'm, not, I'm not draining these batteries at all. Uh, I've had my computer on now for more than an hour and the uh, the batteries haven't dropped even one little bit but uh, I do not know what all the stuff is on this thing so that's the that's the whole setup here I don't really know what else to tell you about this uh, I do need to to mount this stuff 
set it up a little bit better than I have right now but just temporarily just to test it this is the way it is now these are the connections that I have onto that charge controller and that also has to be fixed better than it is uh, I'm going to solder ring terminals onto those wires I have ring terminals on them now but they're just El Cheapo ring terminals they're Harbor Freight and they don't work very well so I'm going to probably wind up soldering those on or replacing them and another thing I need to do is I need to put a an inline fuse on the on the positive uh, coming from the coming from the coming from the the the, uh, the solar panel and I don't think I'm going to use this one I got that from from Lowe's and I just don't think it's it's good enough and it it doesn't you know it, it uses uh, a lower gauge wire than I want to have uh, I'm running right now 10 gauge wire and that that has 12 gauge and I don't feel like splicing it in I'm gonna get a different kind that's something else I'll need to do and additionally what I'll have to do is I'm gonna put the the wires into into conduit so that it'll be a fairly professional looking job so that's just a quick look at this this setup I've got here and it's it's working I don't know how long I'll be able to run my computer with once the sun goes down uh, that's 105 now 140 amp hours of battery storage I have there so I think it'll take a while uh, I suppose I could kind of figure it out if I if I use that that kilowatt I could kind of figure it out how long I'd have to run my my computer before I'd, I'd need regular electricity anyway that's about it thanks for watching